All right, everyone. Uh, this is just a bit of a follow-up video to the video I did yesterday where I showed you how I acclimate my salvia divinorum plants. Today is a video on how to take cuttings. I noticed that this is a, an area that a lot of people struggle with. So what I do is I take 70% isopropyl alcohol. I like 70% instead of 50% over 90. There's some research I've seen over the years in the mushroom world that 70% allows, you can see there's still a bit of shine on here from, it tends to take longer to evaporate on these titanium scissors. I don't know why. Uh, supposedly 70% allows for the best germ killing. Salvia is pretty resilient, so it's not that big a deal, especially on the scissors. I take a brand new razor blade. Uh, I'm sure you could reuse blades. I do every now and then until they get gross. They get some kind of like buildup on them and a pack of a hundred razor blades is like nine dollars. So I just use a new one. So what I do is I'm gonna take my scissors. We're gonna come over here to where the plants are. So there's some different kinds of cutting you can take uh you can take a so what i would do for this one the nodes are kind of close together so what i would probably do is take the cutting right here and then just take these two off the reason i don't like to have my node super close to where i'm going to plant is it can just be a little bit problematic when you go to actually plant the cutting and let's get this dead leaf out of here salvia sheds leaves like crazy um so what i'm gonna do is i personally like to trim my leaves quite a bit so you can see that i trimmed it about this much i would say that's about 70 percent of the leaf and i do that to all the leaves. Um, most of these leaves are gonna fall off anyway when you go to root them, as, after you plant them, I mean. Um, usually I leave these top ones not have been, usually I leave these top ones not have been trimmed, but these ones are kind of big, so I'm gonna trim them. And I'm gonna go ahead while the leaves are on in just a quick motion, they just kind of snap down like that. Just do that. And then I'm gonna go back over here, get my razor blade. In this case, I'm gonna take the cutting right below the node. Um, now with this salvia cutting, you can see that the stem is pretty pliable. There are other ones, like for example, this one, it's a way more established stem. You are gonna have difficulty cutting that, especially with the razor blade. So in that case, what I would do is I would take scissors, I would chop it, and then I would essentially clean up the cutting a little bit on, I guess I could just show you an example. So I'll, I'll, I'll take this cutting and then I'll show you an example. So I'm gonna take this and um, I'm gonna cut it at a 45 degree angle, just like that. Uh, this camera doesn't zoom, so I also don't know how well it's gonna focus, but yeah. You know, pretty simple. Then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna take my mini bottle of water. I'm going to drain it into my little drain pan right here. And what I'm gonna try and do is, I'm gonna try and match up the cutting length with the bottle of water. So I'm gonna sit down just so I can get a better shot for you. Now, uh, I never really have to put water in my cuttings once I take them. 
So... I'm going to put that about there. And I have that much stem underneath the water on average. I don't typically like to make node cuttings. Uh, if you don't get all that leaf off, if you just cut the leaf off, what happens is that little bit of leaf that you leave will rot in the water. And normally it's not an issue. I'm really experienced. You know, I got, I got 10 years growing this plant. So it's not normally an issue, um, especially if your environment is right, you have healthy plants, etc. but it can be an issue. So I just typically don't. Um, don't do what a lot of people do, which is take their plant out to like look at it. A lot of people, you know, I, I, get, I get it. You know, you get impatient, you wanna look at your thing, you wanna be like, ooh, don't do that. Just leave your plant alone. I don't know how well you can see it, but there are tons of tiny little air bubbles all along the plant and that really helps promote rooting so what i do is i just i fill up this tray i try and not overcrowd it uh, often three is too many so i sometimes do two um it can be kind of you know it's just kind of a feeling thing so i'll go and i'll show you what i meant about that uh that thick stem so you don't typically want to take a cutting like right here, for example. This wouldn't make a very good cutting because it's just kind of it's just kind of small, and it's just going to take forever to grow. Like these plants I showed you the other day um, in my how to acclimate video, that cutting was pretty much about what I took today just now and what I showed you. But you pretty much want to take a decent sized cutting. Otherwise, like I said, they just take forever to grow. So let's go and find a stem cutting. So I'm actually gonna go up here. I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna cut through that. That I actually probably could have cut with a razor blade, but you're gonna notice it just doesn't work super well. So I'm gonna come back over here onto my pre-sterilized little thingy. And I am actually going to pre-cut all of these. So I'm gonna go snip. And snip. And snip. And like I said, I... I'm still getting used to this camera. So sorry if it's, you know, really hard to follow along. I'm going to go through and I'm going to trim all the leaves a fair bit. I am really aggressive with my leaf trimming. It, you know, it's more of a personal preference thing. Uh, if you have high humidity, you really don't have to trim them as much. You could trim them a little, a little bit, a little bit less like here, but I just find this works well. So that's what I recommend to people. Trim trim do with these leaves what you will I put them in the green waste so what I meant when I said you can go back and uh, clean up the cutting this is a really bad cut um, this will not do well this will probably rot and die so what you'll want to do is on a flat, firm surface with your razor blade, just uh, in a bit of a slicing motion. Let's try and get this camera to focus a little bit. In a bit of a slicing motion, kind of at a downward pressure angle, just push. And there you go. This stem is a little bit long. I don't typically like them that long, but I am just going to go ahead and leave it. So we will drain out some water and pop that in there. These normally take about two weeks to root um, until you get a nice thick. It's okay to crowd them a little bit like here. It's okay to do this a bit. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to do this because 
it's okay for this to crowd this a little bit. There's no leaf here, but um, you don't really want this to crowd this part during rooting, because if you do, then these leaves will just be really shitty. Um, this could be a problem. This little bit here, how it's like really badly cut. Um, that for sure can be a problem. Like here's another example. It'll probably rot back and normally the rot stops before that final node. I have seen cases, no, this will die off. No matter what, it will die off. But I've seen cases where people don't have the right condition and it rots and that could in theory spread all the way down your cutting. So just something to be aware of. It's pretty much how I make my cuttings. I take that dome like I showed you yesterday I take these domes and when I take cuttings, I typically have the dome open all the way. I like to put my cuttings underneath lights like this. These are T5 shop lights. They're just 5,000 Kelvin LED shop lights. You can get them at any hardware store. Um, I just put them about, I'll just show you. I have them about that close. So, decently far. You don't want them too close. Salvia is a really low light requirement plant. Don't buy expensive grow lights. Don't get expensive cannabis grow lights. Don't get blurple lights. Like, literally, this is a 20 watt LED light. And look at these plants that grew. Like, so when people argue with me, like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, about light spectrums, bro. Like, it's just so funny because you don't need them. So, you know, just a thought. $20 light, $400 light. Uh, anyway, so I just wanted to release this video, show you guys how I make my cuttings, and hopefully it helps someone out.